Thanks for joining this quick screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe and tap the bell so you get notified when we drop more content. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to prepare a simple CSV file with account records to upload into Salesforce using Data Loader. Data Loader is a more robust tool than the data import wizards, and once you know how to use it, you'll find it very helpful. It's a great tool to import many records at one time. I'm going to show you how to prepare your CSV file so your import goes smoothly. First, log into your org, open up an account page, and click on the Edit button. Notice that anything with a red asterisk is a required field. In this page, the account name and account currency are mandatory fields. Next, figure out the other fields you would like to populate. In this scenario, I'll select the status, phone, and shipping city fields. In order to prepare your import file, the field names have to be correct. We'll use a shortcut and just export the exact field names from Salesforce. Open Data Loader, click on the Export button, log in using your credentials. On the next screen, click on the Account object, select a place where to save the export file, and click on the Next button. Select the fields from the previous step, which were Account Name, which in the system is Name, USD Currency, which in the system is currency ISO code, status, and shipping city. In this org, I have 25 account records, so I'll just export all of them, since it won't take long. But once we have our export file, we're going to delete these existing records from our CSV and replace the info with the new records we want to add to Salesforce. So we really wouldn't need to export all our records. In fact, if you have many records, then you can put a limit 5 at the end of the query. This will only extract five records, perfect if you already have a lot of records in Salesforce and you don't want to wait for the export. Click on the Finish button and click Yes in the dialog box. The file will open and you will see four field headers. Notice the currency ISO code has USD listed underneath. This means that the proper data should be listed in US dollars for each record. The name field could be named anything, and there's no exact limit, but it's best to keep to under 200 characters. Shipping city can also be populated with any city. For the status field, it's best practice to make sure the data pick list field values are populated with the same values as they are in the org. Notice that this is a custom field, which is preceded by two underscores and the letter C. All custom fields have this ending prefix, so it's easy to identify these custom fields. The options are Open, Closed, and Default. In the file, delete all the records below the field names by highlighting and deleting. Enter the new data, making sure it's correct under each field name. This is also an opportunity to delete any other columns in your import file that you won't be importing. When done, click on the empty column on the right and highlight all the columns to the side. Right-click on the highlighted area and select Delete or Clear Contents. Do the same by highlighting the empty columns below the last record to make sure that it's not populated with any invisible characters. This will clear any data and make sure only the data with columns will make it into the Insert operation in Data Loader. Now the file is ready to insert using Data Loader. This is just a simple file to install and does not include putting in the owner of the records, nor an account record type. If you do have a more complex import where you need to import the record owner information or a record type, see the Data Loader series linked to in the short description of the screencast. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and we hope you found it helpful. For more information, Visit help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.